Well, how do then, chums? Does I, Captain of the Station, today, chums, for you guys in the view of us, I'm back with some archive lore. Yes, I'm at the Gek Colossal Archive. We're going to be heading into the archive. We're going to see which bit of lore gets hit up first anyway. But let's jump on over into game. Let's make this bigger on screen for thee in the view of us. So let's head on over. Hello there, Celestial Giant Archive type thing. Greetings, friend, and all that sort of shenanigans. Yes, all this first bit is the same. You have to choose like one of these to get access. Let's see if we get access. Granted. Granted. I guess I do. Decrypt Archive. The entry is titled The Conquered. It appears to be some kind of interactive text from a second trade era. The terminal allows me to make choices. Sweet. It's like one of those little mini games. Cool. Let's get into it. The poor, the poor wiggles have escaped the spawning pools. Do you go left, go right, transcend space time? Oh, There's got to be that one, hasn't it? It's got to be. Let's do that. You transcend space time. Yes, I guess I did. There is no winning or losing, only infinite sadness. Game over. Brilliant. The poor wiggles have escaped. Okay, this time I will go left then. I'll go left. You go left. The Zandkaraf devours you. Game over. Brilliant. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> We're going right then. We're going freaking right. You go right. The poor wiggles are saved and become your pets. Continue. Oh, brilliant. We got somewhere, people. Okay. The poor wiggles have... Oh, okay. Fine. All right. That, that's the end of that game then, isn't it? All right. Fine. Brilliant. Okay. Um, yeah. So sometimes some of the things that you get inside of these colossal archives are a colossal waste of time. <laughs> but other times they're not. Other times it's lore. And sometimes that lore is freaking awesome. So this is a Gek archive. So you will see little Gek, Gek guys just hanging about here. What I love about Gek archives is you see over there, there's like this giant hologram type thing. Let's fly on over there. Look at that. Isn't that freaking bodaciously cool? Yeah, you get those at these Gek archives. Really nice. Anyway, let's press on with the lore, shall we? So when we get to that game thing, I'll skip that bit because we've already seen that one. Hello, little Gek mate. Anyway, let's get into this. So I'm reading from a laptop down here. So if I'm not looking directly at you guys, sorry, but I'm reading from down here. Efficient processing of Corfax. This doesn't sound all too great, does it? This sounds a sinister one to start off on. The entry appears to have been removed from the ancient era. I'm not surprised. The treatment of the Corvax entities must be merciful. The universe de demands no moral order of us, but which we choose to impose. Okay, communications. The Corvax shell will be stripped of all contact from its convergence for 50 cycles. It will be separated from all communication frequencies. All appeals to the false atlas will be punished. Utility. The Corvax will be given tools for their own humiliation. Refusal to extract minerals from planets will result in extraction from Corvax themselves. Much well, freaking sinister. Appearance. The Corvax will be given appearance modifications to make them appear flesh. All resistance shall cease. Holy fudge. That's fun, isn't it? So it almost sounds like the Corvax didn't always look like the Corvax. They're made flesh. Hmm. Interesting bit of lore there, people in the view of ours. Who cares? Anyway, let's, let's move on down to another little bit of a geck down here. And let's see what other lore we can get, shall we? Hello there, Underlin Fack. Okay, cool. Let's, um, let's just scroll on down and see what else I've got. The 57 Laws of Profit. Okay, cool. That sounds good. Okay. Thousands of words of Gek trade philosophy. Auto scroll on the terminal. A fragment. Okay, so it's just a fragment of it. Establish friendly relations with all potential redacted. Many species vary in their ability to understand such attempts. Pheromones are not universal. Distrust is everywhere. Therefore, policy recommends explicit reference to friendship. For example, Corvax friend, Viking brother, redacted ally. <laughs> cool. Note that sentinels do not understand or express friendship. Any behavior to the contrary should be reported to the Trade Federation and considered an early warning sign of redacted. I imagine that's corruption. You know, we're seeing the corruption now, aren't we? I guess we are. Trading partners must not be depleted of resources or they cannot continue to trade. Our enemies must continue to thrive for Gek to achieve. Redacted. 
Okay, that's interesting stuff, interesting stuff. Am I going invisible? I think I am. Let me just draw my curtains. Let me see if I can improve my merch wear. Well, that's very nice merch wear, isn't it? Let's, uh, let's draw those. Let's see if that helps. I'm getting rid of the normal daylight. There you go. I'm less transparent now, people. Yes, must have been the daylight coming in with green light waves. <laughs> Who freaking knows? Anyhow, sorry about that. Anyway, let's move on. Let's move on. Let's see if we can go see another little geck and let's see if we can find some more lore. Well, hello there, matey. Hair Lane, Desiree. Again, let's, let's scroll on down. The foundation of the Federation. Sounds like some kind of Star Trek, doesn't it? Okay. The archive classifies the entry as a historical analysis. A small segment. Just a small segment yet again, people. So it looks like the Gek law could be far vast. The circumstances of the Gek Reformation are still unclear. Even now, untold generations have passed since the fall of the first spawn. Even so, there are extant archives scattered recollections of those early days. Less than 4% of the Gek population possesses any desire to learn about their history. Less than 0.8% identifies with the goal of the old empire. How can there be no records of this seismic changeover of power and philosophy? Not even with the Corvax, whose minds are as machines. The archive project must become imperative to recover what has been lost, to safeguard what remains. Okay, sweet. Well, that's, that's a nice little bit of lore, but I, I didn't find anything too juicy in that. Nothing too juicy. All right. Hello, mate. Yeah, specialist. What? Talok. Specialist Talok. Okay, what have you got, mate? The Conquer. Okay, right. Oh, that's that's the whole spawning pause with the polywiggles. Give me something else, matey. All right, here we go. The reality of the Viking. Projections of imposing holographic factories are com accompanied by a Gek voice. I'm not doing a Gek voice. It's not going to happen. The Viking High Command seeks no profit. They offer no friends, no allies, no contributions. They claim to be our people of honor. They claim to be good and just. But behold the war factories, behold the battle enzymes, the flesh circuits, the sources of all courage and strength, behold the harvested organs of heretics of the weak. Yeah, they do that. They do, they, they do harvest the organs of the weak. Yeah. The Viking are hypocrites. They are liars. They refuse to accept that the Gek have changed. They threaten us, yet they do not attack. There are more than a hundred such ent entries in the archives, a parade of atrocities, more evidence of supposed Viking depravity and Gek superiority. All right, well, that's just propaganda building inside your archives, isn't it, my little friend? Because we all know what you did to the freaking Corvax, and we know that the Viking, they've got their ways, but they're usually Viking on Viking ways, you know, Herc versus Null and all that sort of shenanigans. Anyway, we've got two Cor um, little Gek brothers over here. We've got Worker Gek, Kifajori, and we've got this little chap, Specialist Livis. All right, all right, okay, cool. What you got for me, guys? Simulation Interface. The interface sweeps memories, smells, flooding the room with a delicate scent. It tries to fill the user's mind with a vision of places that never were and never could be. Yes, like Araya V and those beautiful majestic diplos. Oh, the scent has cast me back. <laughs> Brilliant. Cool. The imprint of individual Gek lineages and the interface, they must have spent years in here, constantly wiping their own memory in order to experience fictional lives. Their simulated fantasies are still available. Family. Okay, I return to youth. My sibling and I play beside the spawning pool. The pool is a whole world. I'm an innocent to trade. Okay, to units to the insatiable hunger. Here we will stay for ever. The spawning pools do sound lovely, I guess. Right, okay, go on Blair on Blair on five. I think that's your home world, isn't it? Friendship. I met on the Corvax in secret. I met the Corvax in secret. I hand them forbidden item. The synthetic life form hesitates, unsure. Then they leave. I hope they will remember me. This is the path I would have chosen. Should I have chosen? Okay, cool. Well, it looks like you would have liked to have been friendly with Gorvax. Fine. Home. I am the one chosen to help the traveller friend in the constructed, the, the contracted, the significant, the overseer. There is a home in the universe just for me, and I will never want for units again. 
Well, yes, you can put an overseer down at your base, and it does happen to be a gag. And they are quite a lovely, pleasant little addition to your base. But other than this, I'm not getting anything too juicy from this gek law so far. Nothing that points to the Void Mother. Nothing that points to the Void or the Realm of Glass at all. Okay, have you got anything for me? Erling Ovisi? Hopefully you have, or else I'm going to have to go start talking to the guys landing in blanking ships, mate. Come on, blow my socks off. That's what I want. Thank okay, yes. Untitled. The Archive classifies the entry as fragmented of an investigation relayed to the Trade Federation before all contact was lost to a small segment. Oh, this sounds a bit more juicy. Persuaded. Okay, red robes. Into the tunnels. What? For a while, there are no words in the audio files, only sounds from beneath the planet's surface. Strange scratching noises, echoes in the darkness, cries of pain issued from a familiar voice. Cultists are captured traveller demands hidden spirit denied everything the final tra transmission is clear and undistorted you send gek upon gek you consider us criminals born in brutal time but the robes of the last spawn are not made of blood they're made of souls they remind us of who we once were who we could be again oh hold on so the last spawn, I wonder if they were larger forms of Gek. And these red robes sounds like occultists. And we know that the occultists are linked to the drinking of water. And it mentions here that the actual robes are made of souls, not of blood. Yet we were trapping echoes, which could be deemed as souls, and putting them into machines. Could that be a link? Could that be something? It could be. It's rather vague, but it could be. Right, OK, well, we've got this little chap. He's just standing around in this kiosk. What's your mate? OK, Judah. OK, Judah. What have you got for us? Go on, let's scroll on down a bit further. The Estate of Trade Lord Vinicio. The entry is a record of an auction held centuries ago on Beleron. Yes, Beleron was a home world. I thought, I thought it was. Secondus. What? Beleron Secondus? Is there two planets? Okay, fine. A trade lord had left a vast amount of artworks behind after their death. Their heirs, numbering in the thousands, had liquidated the estate. Next, we have the work of the craft geck Sibyl from the Fifth and High Recession. As you can see, pheromones dance amongst the light spheres and holograms, a synthesis of geck and Korvax technology. Ooh, sneaky. The work depicts two entities at work trading worship, searching for their places in a strange infinite universe. Despite the reoccurring elements, the Korvax and the Gek never look at each other, never align. Not how the Gek will often tremble. Hold on. Note, note how the Gek will often tremble, often shake, even as it succeeds in making profit, even as its ally continues in peace. The work is titled Guilt. Do I have a buyer? It sounds almost like some sort of artistic depiction of, you know, Nada and Polo up in the Space Anomaly. And they made some technology together. The Space Anomaly. They never really do look at each other, do they? Whenever, whenever Nada says, go speak to Polo, Nada then turns. I'd, I'm going to have to put that to the test. <laughs> well, of course that. OK, well, there we are. <laughs> it could be. Right, OK, so let's have a look. So... No, oh, I've run out of freaking Gex. Hold on, there's one more over here. There's one more there. There we go, this little chap. Hello, mate. Yeah, Slutamondo. Yes, Envoy Tuss. Go for it, Envoy Tuss. What do you got for us, mate? The fragments of the Gelly Vub. This is actually the last entry, so that's kind of lucky, isn't it? Go on. So, entry five. The Overseer is upset with me. Uh, hold on, one sec. There's one bit above there. The archive selects the fragments of Gelivub, the diary of a famous Geg farmer from the Fifth Low Recession era. Entry 5, here we go. The overseer is upset with me, demands greater yields of spawning pools. If we fail, all children dead. Okay, that escalated quickly. Gelivub, despair. Entry 8, well, what happened to 6 and 7, mate? Little more than frost wart will grow in this place. How shall we thrive on dioxide? That's a good question. <laughs> Entry 12. We can make ice cream. Okay. Yeah, I've got several recipes for you, mate. Several hydroponic arrays seem to be more successful than others, despite 
identical elements. Nonsense. Not at all. Don't really get what's happening there. Entry 13. I asked Corvax employees to perform tests on water, but they refused to go near it. Atlas and their chittered silly Corvax. Hmm. Well, the reason why is that the Corvax sacrificed themselves into the spawning pools. All their nanites went into the spawning pools, and that's what made the Gex, the firstborn, more docile. And that's what's produced the Gex that we see now, these lovely little cute creatures. Before, the Gek were quite big and massive. They used to eat the lower spawn, and they were freaking evil. Okay, anyway, let's move on, let's move on. Okay, entry 16. I have saved us. The water is a key. There is a lake. Sing song. Vibrations linger. Well, we've seen quite a lot when it comes to sounds and melodies. We've got the living ships from those, these new robot entities and the singularity. A lot has got to do with sound and melodies and songs. Okay, 23, this is the last line. I am the overseer now. We'll export this sound to other worlds. There is even talk of elevation. Righto, people. Well, that's that's pretty much everything there. Oh, oh, hold on, people. We've missed one. We've missed one. Yes, okay. What have you got for me, underling whack? Okay. Captured Viking data on the classification of Gek. The records appear to have created by the Viking and stolen by the Gek as part of the vast hack. There is a vast list of Gek ranks and types. A short segment. Another short segment, people. There we go. Sales Gek, concerned more with profit margins than kindred. Short brutal lives on distant worlds and puny exchanges deserve death. Mm. Toil Gek, laborers often serve as sales Gek the lowest of Gek classes, potential for future rebellion. Trade Envoy, Princess of the Gek, or Princes of the Gek, favoured children of the Lords. Only a few will survive to succeed their parents, often entrusted with the construction of fleets, recommended targets for indoctrination. Ha 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 ha! Coolio. Trade Lords hold franchises over vast areas of space, Long lived to compared to their members of their species, spawning thousands of young. Recommended targets for abduction. Okay, so what are you again? You're underling. Oh, you're not even on the frickin' list, mate. You're not on the list. What about you? Envoy? No, you're not a trade lord. You're not a toil geck. You're, you're, no, you're none of those either. I'm a specialist. No, oh, none of these would want to be wanted by the old frickin' Viking, by the looks of things, people. No, no. Uh, no. Okay, well, um, no trade lords. Oh, technology merch. No, they don't want you either. All right, fine. Well, um, interesting stuff, people. But then that that's it now for law. That's everything. So, heck yes. Anyways, that's all the archive law for the gag. Yeah, so we'll be touching on the Corvax. I think there was a couple, a couple of little loose hints. Look, it was daytime when I started. It's bloody night time now. Yeah, a few loose hints to the echoes. To the echoes, at least, and the souls. And perhaps even what some of maybe might be lingering inside of the depths of the realm of glass. Could it be the remnants of the first spawn people in the view of us? Yeah, that's that's a conundrum for you, isn't it? Well, at least that's one way of interpreting some of that lore that I just saw. And as you can see here, I'm heading towards my portal. I'm going to be hitting up a Corvax, a Corvax archive in the next episode, people. So if you're liking these, you know what to do. Smash all those buttons and share it to some friends. Awesome. Until next time, salute to Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.